In this video, we're going to go through this combination series and parallel resistor circuit. And we're going to find the equivalent resistance and then the total current and power in the circuit if the battery is 10 volts. So we have several resistors here and some of them are in series and some of them are in parallel. So we need to reduce this down and figure out what the equivalent resistance is. So the equivalent resistance for a series, resistors that are in series are just going to be adding them together. So R1 plus R2 plus R3 and so on. And for a for resistors that are in parallel, the equivalent resistance is going to be the inverse of one over each of those added together. where this negative one power is the inverse. So what we have to do is find the resistors here that we can reduce down uh, and find the equivalent resistance. So looking at the circuit, there are a couple of things we can do right away, right? So these two resistors are in series with each other and there's nothing in between them. So we could reduce those or find the equivalent resistance of each of those to make this a little simpler. And same goes for these two resistors here. They're in a series with each other, and there's nothing in between them uh, that's in parallel, so we can just add those together. So let's go ahead and figure out our the equivalent resistance of R4 and 5. That's going to be R4 plus R5. And the resistances are 12 ohms plus 6.2 ohms. And that's going to give us 18.2 ohms. And then for R6 and R7, call this R6, R7. We're just adding these together. They're also in series, so that's 3 plus 10. 3 ohms plus 10 ohms. So of course, that's just 13 ohms. So now what we've done is simplified this circuit to look more like this. So here's our battery. Here's R1. We've reduced these two resistors to one resistance this one as well. So now we have R6, 7, R4, 5, then R2 is here, R1, and R3. So now it's a little bit simpler. And now what we can do is take these three resistors that are in parallel and find the equivalent resistance of them, and then we're just going to have three resistors. Okay, so the equivalent resistance for these is going to be the inverse of 1 over R2 plus 1 over R4, 5 plus 1 over R6, 7. So plugging in the values, that's 1 over R2, which is 5.0 ohms, plus 1 over 18.2 ohms, plus 1 over 13 ohms. And don't forget to take the inverse after you've uh, completed what's in the parentheses. Make sure to not take the inverse, inverse of each of these individually because then you're just adding them together like you would a series uh, resistor or like resistors in series. And so for the equivalent resistance of these resistors in parallel, we end up with 3.0 ohms. So now what we have is just a circuit with three resistances that are in series and we can just add these together. So that's R1, R, 
I guess we'll call this <laughs> 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, and R3. So now we just have to add these resistances together because they are in series. And this is the R equivalent for the whole circuit. So that's R1 plus R2, 4, 5, 6, 7 plus R3. And looking back up here, R1 is 30 ohms, R3 is 10 ohms. And our total equivalent resistance then is just 43 ohms. So now we can figure out the total current and power in this circuit, right? So we know that the voltage of the battery is 10 volts, and we have the equivalent resistance. So just using V equals IR, and then solving for I, we get I equals the voltage over the resistance. That's 10 volts over 43 ohms. And that's going to give us 0 0.23 amps for the current. And now for the power, we can just use the current times the voltage. You could also use the current squared times the re resistance. Either one will work. But our current is 0 0.23 amps times 10 volts. So that's just going to be 2.3 watts. So now we have everything we need. And so that's how you would go through this type of series and par parallel combination circuit and kind of reduce it down part by part so that you can get the equivalent resistance and do some other calculations. So hopefully that was helpful and let me know if there's anything else you guys would like to see.